Hello, and welcome to the Word for today. I have a question for you. How do you know the will of God? How do you follow Him? How does it work out in your life? Today we're going to be looking at Genesis 24, uh, beginning at verse 14. What we're seeing here is, the backstory is, is we have the servant of Abraham who was looking for a wife for Abraham's son Isaac. And he, he gets to this well. He's trying to find out who is the right lady. And so he says this to God. Listen to this prayer. It says, May it be that when I say to a girl, please lay down your jar that I may have a drink. And she says, Drink, and I'll water your camels too. Let her be the one you have chosen for your servant Isaac. By this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. You know, when we see this right here, we may be asking ourselves, you know, is this how God works? He's looking for this sign. You know, he wasn't asking that uh, that God sent down a meteor that, that landed in his backyard um, and it didn't burn up the grass. He didn't ask for something like that. He was looking for someone who had displayed kindness and generosity and friendliness. Uh, these are the things that by this request that he could tell. The, the other part of this is that God doesn't guarantee that he's going to give us some extraordinary sign. But what he does guarantee is that he will be with us in our presence and that he will guide us. Now that guidance might come through reading the word. It might come from uh, other godly people who have an uh, ear for God and they can speak wisdom and guidance into our lives. You know, the biggest way that we often find the will of God is when our doubts begin to battle our faith. It's when our hesitation begins to say and submit to, yes, Lord, your servant is listening. Sometimes God just sets up different events that when you're able to look back, you can say, you know what? I can see God's hand in the way that things, things have been moving. So it's not so much of looking for this external sign as much as it is saying, Lord, give me your internal peace. Give me your wisdom. Give me your direction. Lord, help me to be led by you. Help me to be led by your word because ultimately I want to live my life in a way that it points back to you so that wherever I go and whatever choice or decision I make, it will point to a very faithful and loving and trustworthy God in whom I have chosen to follow. So when it comes to following, the biggest way to do that is simply to follow. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that our life isn't reduced down to looking for signs. Even Jesus talked about that. But that we could follow you. And sometimes our fear and our doubt is going to wrestle with our faith. And we pray that our faith in you will overcome. That we will find you in these battles. And that we can trust you for your leading and your guidance. And for you to be very present in our hearts. We thank you, Lord. Help us to know your will in the choices that we have to make. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a blessed day. Keep trusting God. Keep looking to him. Keep leaning on him. And he will make your paths straight. God bless.